For the first time since independence nearly 40 years ago, Robert Mugabe is not on the ballot. So are we on the brink of radical change? Will the election be free and fair? Can the country turn the page on the violence that has marred elections in the past? And can the ruling Tsar PF party hold on to power? Or perhaps the young and charismatic new opposition leader, Nelson Chamisa, will break her hold. Whoever wins, how will the new president go about rebuilding a shattered economy in a country that has entrenched levels of unemployment and an agricultural sector that was once the envy of Africa but has fallen into near ruin? Zimbabwe may insist that it is open for business, but how democratic is it and how free and how ready is it for the radical change it probably needs? That's all after the BBC News. This is the BBC World Service. I'm Alan Little and you're listening to World Questions from Zimbabwe. We're discussing some of the major challenges the country faces with a panel and a lively audience to ask them questions. We've discussed, we've discussed the upcoming elections. Will they be free and fair? Will they be peaceful? And whoever wins, how can the new leaders go about rebuilding an economy that has all but collapsed? Stay with us for more World Questions right after the news.